Hello world, welcome back to Through the Word and our seven key chapters to introduce the Bible. Today we're in Genesis 2, creation. Bible key number two is origin, where it all began. If you really want to understand a thing and where it's going, you have to get the backstory. Go back to the beginning, like a superhero origins movie. Genesis is the origins movie for humanity, for the universe, for everything. Now remember, Seven Key is not about giving you the whole story. The backstory on humanity is a pretty long story. We give you the keys and you go explore what's inside. Now the Bible is a history book, among many other things. It starts in the beginning, God. Everything starts there. Genesis 1 is God creating everything. How did he create it? He spoke. God's word is a running theme here in God's word. Chapter 2 focuses in on God creating man and woman, us. The Bible is about God and mankind and our story together. So let's read at verse 7. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. So God made the first man from topsoil, you and me too. Ask your periodic table, we're the same elements. And remember what Jesus said about seeds and soil? Our hearts really are made of dirt. But it's not the dirt that makes us special. Chapter 1 explains that man and woman are made in God's image. In other words, mankind was created to be a reflection of God himself, a picture of who God is. But notice back in verse 7, God made the most complex machine in the known universe, the human body, out of dirt. But it wasn't alive until God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Then the man became a living being. God's breath. Remember, what else was breathed by God? Second Timothy, all scripture is God breathed. The same breath that turned dead dirt into the first live man breathed into this book. So this is our origin. And yes, I believe it happened exactly as it says here. I'll leave the science debate for a longer study. But for now, there are three things to catch that God gave to man here in chapter 2. In verse 15, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. God's first gift to man is work. Work is a blessing. Man's life has purpose outside of himself. Work gets messed up in chapter 3, but in the beginning, work was good. And gift number two is in verse 16. You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will certainly die. So gift number two is a will, and it comes with God's very first don't. Don't eat the bad fruit. But there's more to it than that. Before the don't, the command starts with the words, you are free, free to eat all the good stuff. God's desire for us is freedom, and real freedom means real choices with real consequences, free to choose good and free to choose evil. God's second gift, a will, a free will. And then gift number three is in verse 18. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. After looking over all of creation and all its goodness, God sees just one thing that he says is not good. It's loneliness. And so God's third gift to Adam was a wife. God gave us others. Others to work for, others to choose right for. We were made for each other. There are many things that the Bible tells us about how to live, but Jesus sums it up in two. Love God and love God others. So God gave us work to have a purpose, a will to have freedom, and he gave us others that we might have love. Well, the chapter ends with two simple words, no shame. Shame is that awful feeling that you have something to hide and that you need to cover up, conceal the real you. God made us to be free and he made us to live without shame. Sadly, that didn't last very long. Adam and Eve sinned. God said don't, but Adam and Eve did. They chose evil, and when God showed up, they were ashamed. The rest of the Bible is God's plan to redeem. Now there's a key word. Redemption means bought back, restored to original purpose. That's why Genesis 2 is so important. It is a short picture of that original purpose and what it looks like. God's big plan, the reason Jesus came, is to restore, 
to take the old and make all things new. Remade in his image, back to work with purpose, he restores our will and sets it free from sin, and he renews our love for God and love for others. Back to original purpose, a factory reset, and no shame. All right, that's key number two. The door is open. Go look around, read Genesis 2, and if you'd like to go deeper in the book of Genesis, please check out our full set of audio guides to Genesis on Through the Word in the App Store. I will see you back here for our next Bible key in Genesis chapter 12.